Okay, here we go. We're here at the marina, the bay. Toto, we're not in Manila anymore. <laughs> this is definitely is a Manila Bay. And this is We're less than an hour from sunset, so this is going to look really nice. Just a little bit when that sun goes down, the lights start going up right at dusk. Look at all these people sitting down on their phones. What the heck? What is that? That's bizarre. All guys. What? I'm not sure what that's all about. I've never seen anything like that. Must be getting ready to do a oh their work it's a workout thing I guess I see a music thing there they must just be taking a break yeah huh. workout overrated <laughs> I get my walking in I'm 85 years old I don't look a day over 40 <laughs> I'm like Aragon. Aragorn, sorry. Lord of the Rings fans are going to kill me for that one. Right, let's go this way. Look at that. Look at that view. That's where I just came from. What a view. Ah, it's beautiful here. This is so neat. I mean, if I lived here, I'd be walking this every day for my exercise. So nice, clean, trash receptacles, receptacles everywhere. Not like some places I've been where you are walk an entire city and never see a trash can to throw your stuff away. Of course in Japan, in Tokyo, they don't have a lot of trash cans and nobody makes any messes, nobody leaves any trash. In fact, people will pick trash up that's not even theirs. That's how clean Tokyo is. Well, this gives Tokyo a run for its money as far as cleanliness and beauty. It's more international. This is really neat. Looks like, looks like they're repairing that building over there across the way. Giant. Oops. We'll go around Morning. you guys. How are you doing? Yeah. yeah. You too? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Logging. It looks like a stadium over there. Maybe for water shows or something. Maybe that's a water park there. It's like seating, like bleachers. That looks like a giant fly eye way over there. <laughs> Bizarre looking. Let's look at the. Here, let's get a view over here, real quick. That iconic building. And then over here. Yeah. All buildings here. The sun's over here in the west. So this is facing east, so the sun comes up in the ocean there, on the other side. Right. What am I looking for? Oh, it's over there. we got a ways to walk to get to that other side. This looks like a neat little restaurant over here. Restaurants, plural. Maybe bar. That looks like a neat place to have a drink at the end of the day. Have a $15 pint of beer. <laughs> That's about what they were 
in Chinatown. They're probably higher here, I would guess, uh, just because this is a big old tourist area. Um, where I'm staying in the Chinatown area, it's kind of, it's a little off the beaten path, but it's really neat. Um, just the buildings are cool, the stores, the restaurants are really neat. And uh, I just really like the feel. Um, it's very neat, neat environment, neat atmosphere, neat culture. Hello. She didn't look too happy. I said hi. <laughs> Save your children. These sailboats, look at those. Oh my goodness. Huge. I wonder if those, I bet those are for tours. A whole fleet of them. They do give tour uh, boat tours here. They give uh, they have duck boats that you can uh, pay to get on. They give tours around the bay. That would be incredible for a date. Um, I would suggest if you come out here, come out here with a significant other um, because this is something that's this city, this city state, this country is uh, is beautiful and it's it's really meant to be shared by couples. It's very romantic. Just everything about it. Um, I mean, I'm in, I'm enjoying it, just walking around, looking at everything. But I'm thinking, oh man, if I, if I had a girl here with me, we'd have an incredible time. So you just never know. <laughs> There's another. Looks like a bar there. Up in the shade. That looks like a fun place. Looks like a lot of people there already. Walk over here. People jogging. Another view there. Absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I came here, even though I'm only here a couple of days. Um, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to see these things that I've only seen on video and in movies. I get to see up close and personal, and it's really a neat thing. A lot of, a lot of restaurants and bars around here. There's another bar there. Cafe Fernet. Or Fernet. Mm. Must be Italian. Fragile. Another place. Like they're just getting ready to open up. A lot of these places probably don't open until five o'clock or so when people get off work things start happening. You can walk forever here though and not see everything. Really need to spend a week. Unfortunately I only have a couple of days here but I'm gonna make the most of it. See what I can and definitely come back here another time when I can spend more time when I have more money in my budget <laughs> because it is expensive here. But I will tell you that the place I'm staying at is it's kind of a shared. So I have my own room. I have a private room and it's small. It's probably five by ten. And it's basically got a bed and a, it's a single bed, maybe a little larger than a single. Um, a little a little stand. And then a TV at the ed at the foot of the bed. And it's like a 42-inch TV that that covers the length of the you know the width of the bed. Um, the bed is super comfortable, though. I mean, it's really nice. One of the best beds I've slept in. Uh, I took a nap while I was charging my phone when I checked in at three, and I literally slept like a baby. 
it was amazing so 60 bucks for the night and you, you share the bathroom so and i i checked the bathroom out and it's nice they got sinks in that they got four or five sinks and then they have shower facilities and that sort of thing they've got lockers so it's not like you're you're sharing one toilet or anything like that so it's kind of like uh it's like you you would be in a gym you know you share share the gym facilities and that's kind of what it's like so for 60 bucks in chinatown in the heart of chinatown in singapore for a night um that's not bad that's not bad look at the waterfalls here I wonder if those change or if they're just constant like that like the waterfalls in uptown in bgc change colors and that but it's really neat um so yeah i like my i like my uh digs where i'm staying um because i'm saving a lot of money and 60 bucks a night in singapore that's pretty good i mean and I just sleep in my hotel anyway, so it's not like I'm, you know, I got guests or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not bringing people back to my room or anything like that. I'm just here to enjoy Singapore and a place to lay my head at the end of the night. And so that ticks all the boxes for me. And then I, the money I save, I can splurge a little bit while I'm here. I have a little extra in my budget to do some things I normally wouldn't be able to do uh, if I was spending $150, $200 on a hotel around here. Like the Fullerton, I'm sure that's expensive. Um, there's a lot of hotels around here that I'm sure that are in the 200 range or higher where you could stay at uh, raffles and easily spend 300 or more a night US to stay in an average room there. But I guess nothing's average at raffles if you've ever experienced that. Look at them cleaning that little dome there. Wow, that's crazy. Look at this, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. People still wear masks. That's all right. As long as they don't make me. The airline actually made us wear masks. Uh, I flew here on Singapore Airlines from Manila. And uh, the last few times I've traveled by air, they didn't make us wear masks, but I forgot mine actually. But they handed me one as we entered the plane. Um, but a lot of people didn't wear it once they sat down and nobody really said anything. So they were, they were pretty cool about it, which was neat. Um, you know, they say it's mandatory. They give you a mask as long as you're kind of cool about it. I don't think they're going to say anything. And nobody made a, uh, a fuss about people not wearing masks. So, oh, Starbucks, go figure. Uh, we're about to that iconic lion uh, fountain that you'll probably recognize when we get up there. Now, this is a big photo, photo op place. And you get your photo with the backdrop of that big hotel there, Get on top of there. This is neat. One Fullerton. One Fullerton. These restaurants and bars along the the bay here, along the pier, look really nice. I haven't checked prices out yet. But I'm sure they're they're pricey. We are in Singapore. 
Oh, there's a Moe's Burger up there. Oh, cool. Look at that. That little duck boat there. They give tours around the bay. Here's a Moe's Burger. Mm -hmm. Look at all that outdoor seating there for Moe's. And here we are. Look at that. That's that iconic lion. Lion head and a mermaid tail or whatever they call it. Big fountain. Let's go on this way. You can look at it. Look at all the people getting their picture taken in front of it. I mean, look at that. Ferris wheel. I think I read that's the largest Ferris wheel in Southeast Asia. I could be wrong, but I think I read that somewhere. And it's all caged in, so you can go in there and get a view. You get a 360 degree view of the entire uh, Singapore, of all of Singapore. I think it's something like $30 to, to ride it, something like that. Let's go out to the end of the dock here. Get a shot here. Wow, lots of people. This reminds me of BGC with all the people. Oh, I just walked in front of somebody's Instagram. Oh my God, it's everywhere. I can't get out of the way. <laughs> Good thing I'm tall. Right here, let's get another view. The breeze is coming in here, so it's actually it's like getting spritzed. Oh, right here. Yeah, I'm getting a little spritz. Spritzer. Lion spitting on us. All these buildings are iconic buildings here in Singapore. That's supposed to be a lotus flower, I think. That's what they call it. I've, ca I've heard it called Buddha's hand. And I've also heard it called a lotus flower. And there's that big fly eye thing. <laughs> Not sure what that is. Let's go. Let's keep walking around. Super safe here, too. I mean, I don't know. I won't worry at all about it. Even after dark, I'm not gonna worry. I don't think there's a bad area in this country. Sunset over the bridge. See, this is definitely a romantic country, Singapore. It's meant for couples. You need to have you need to have a significant other here with you and share this experience. It's really cool. I wonder if that goes all the way around. If I can go all the way around there, or do I have to come back the other way? Looks like there may be a, a bridge that 
goes over there. That's a long, that's a long ass walk. <laughs> I've already come from way over there. That's where I came in, right there. I came all the way around here. So I'm about halfway. I don't know, a lot of people walking this way. I don't see a lot of people down there though. I think I'm gonna walk back the other way. I'll catch you on the other side.